What up everybody? Welcome back to Technique Tuesday. This is literally the first Technique Tuesday we've had since after my fight. Appreciate you guys tuning in for UFC 244 at Madison Square Garden. It was epic. The whole venue, the whole thing was just awesome. Anyway, I came out of that with two broken hands, as you can tell. So I gotta get see a hand specialist tomorrow. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. We're gonna be discussing one of the best knockouts of 2019, Kevin Lee versus Gregory Gillespie. Top prospect as well. Guy gets knocked out with a head kick. Uh, Kevin Lee had a, a set it up perfectly. We're gonna be talking about the setup, the head kick, the whole thing, so check it out. Gregor Gillespie was literally the next big thing. Top prospect in that 155 division. The guy was undefeated, high level wrestler. This is a guy that nobody really wanted to face in this division. He was dangerous. Kevin Lee stepped up to the plate with a big, fa in, in big fashion. And Kevin Lee was actually kind of in no man's land, kind of like where I was for a little bit. He came back, I actually fought at 155, lost some fights there. Went up to 170, lost to RDA, and decided to come back down. Actually, his first camp with Faraz Zahabi out of TriStar, and everybody knows my history with TriStar and Faraz Zahabi. Great guys, awesome coach, and as you can tell, it really paid off for this fight. So, let's get into it. Without further ado, let's get into this head kick knockout, everybody. Of course, I gotta call on my partner in crime, Tony! Sweet T Thompson! You scared me there for a second. Y'all thought you were gonna hit me in the weenie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, we're back. All right, all right we were cool. back, dude. We're back in South Carolina. Spent a week in New York City. Epic. Stressful had the time. president there. Had The Rock there. I almost forgot his name. How can you forget The Rock's name? Let's get into this head kick knockout. Now, I'm gonna switch places with you. Yeah, because sure. Because Kevin Lee threw the left leg. So, we're going to switch places because I want you guys to be able to see the head kick and how this thing was set up. Now, Kevin Lee spent some time up in Montreal at TriStar. He comes out looking completely different. Obviously, he knew he was facing a high-level wrestler. You go back and watch this fight. Watch Kevin Lee's stance. He comes out in a very low stance, hips back, just like so, ready for Gregor Gillespie to shoot for the legs. And that was his game plan. What's crazy about this is that Kevin Lee kept his cool the entire fight even though it didn't last very long it, it he kept us cool he stayed very calm even in uh these tough situations he was ready for the shot gregor gillespie couldn't get the takedown so kevin lee forced gregor gillespie to stand and bang it out and it paid off in kevin lee's favor kevin lee started off actually the whole fight pretty much left side forward gregor gillespie had his left side forward so we're in a closed stance here now since gregor gillespie couldn't get the takedown he was forced to keep the fight standing so there was a lot of jabs thrown back and forth. They were pretty much the battle of the jabs, basically. There were some pretty wide swings, uppercuts and hooks during the whole fight, but the jab is what Kevin Lee used to set up this head kick. He kind of kept his head out there to get Gregor Gillespie to throw the jab, okay? It was a perfect timing. Uh, Gregor Gillespie threw the jab. At the same time, Kevin Lee slipped his head to the left, to the inside. Now it's kind of dangerous. For those of you guys who aren't experienced in this, moving your head to the inside can be dangerous because you got a straight beeline getting hit with this, your opponent's right hand. Power so shot. you gotta be careful with that. Normally most people will slip their head to the outside and then come across, but it was a perfectly timed right hand. He threw the jab, he threw the big right hand over top of the jab, which connects tremendously. It was a good power shot which kind of dazes Gregor Gillespie a little bit, so he kind of panicked. So he backs up and kind of swats his hands off to the side like so, which is where the head kick comes in. Kevin Lee stepped with his back leg to close the gap. Head kick up, boom! Knocks him out cold. So let's discuss this one more time. Both in the closed stance. Kevin Lee left foot in front, Gregor Gillespie left foot in front. We call this a closed stance, open stance. Close stance. In my fight, I kept pretty much an open stance most of the time. So, head was out there, hips were back, ready for the shot. Greg Gillespie throws the jab. Kevin Lee slips it, throws a right hand behind it. Boom! Greg Gillespie swats his hands out. Kevin Lee steps to the back leg. Head kick comes up. Bang! Knocks him out cold. Referee throws it out. He throws his hands, fights over. A few things that I want to point out, some small little little details that some of you guys may not have seen. I think Kevin Lee saw right off the bat that uh, Gregor Gillespie has a tendency to, to slip to the inside. So if I have my left foot in front, it's just natural for me to move this direction. It's not a natural movement to move back. He had his, has a tendency to move this direction 
a lot during that fight. If it's slipping a jab, or when he, even when he would throw his jab, he would slip to the inside, to that right side just a little bit. Kevin Lee saw that and adapted to it real quick. Number one, good coaching, good game plan. Two, the fighter also has to be able to see that when he's out there. So hats off to Kevin Lee for actually picking that up. Number two is timing. Be able to time a technique to make sure it lands, to set up that head kick is, was just awesome. So whenever Kevin Lee saw that jab, he knew he was gonna throw the jab. I mean, Gregor Gillespie really didn't have anything else but a jab. So I think Kevin Lee knew that he, he was leaning to that side and with one good over right hand to kind of discombobulate his opponent, distract got him, well. distract him, get him leaning in that direction, and then there was a head kick. So the timing was, was just epic. Two, opponent being able to read your partner during a fight was just was awesome. And Kevin Lee did that to perfection. Number three, co covering the distance. Kevin Lee covered the distance by taking that half a step with his back leg. Now normally, we like to call it a slide up. I don't like to take a big of a step, but it worked perfectly for him. Because he knew when every time, whenever Gregor Gillespie threw that jab and he slipped it, he boom, Gregor Gillespie started to back up. If I threw my round kick from here, I wouldn't be able to hit him. I may be able to hit him in the leg, maybe glancing it off of his arm, but he had to close that gap. He knew Greg Gillespie was gonna back up. Kevin Lee knew he had to cover that gap. So that half a step to throw that head kick made all the difference in the world. And it was perfect placement. Uh, I recommend going back, watching that fight. Uh, Tony, I appreciate you being Greg Gillespie. Yes, um, always a pleasure getting knocked out for you, sir. Thank you. And you guys. I was like delayed. Anyway, um, awesome combination. Go back and watch that fight, very entertaining. And of course, the head kick was, was just epic. I'm all about head kicking people. It was two high level wrestlers, two high level MMA guys battling it out. Kevin Lee, you can tell, had spent most of, his, most of that camp at TriStar, which helped tremendously. Faraz Ahabi, you were the man, it was awesome. Your game plan going into this was just outstanding. Kevin Lee stuck to his game plan the entire time to set up that head kick. Go back, watch it as well. All right, you guys, thank you for joining us on this Technique Tuesday. The head kick that put out Gregor Gillespie, Kevin Lee, hat goes off to you, my brother. It was awesome. Anyway, I suggest you guys go back, watch that whole event, and watch yours truly during that fight. Uh, definitely got back into that win bracket. Did it with two broken hands as well. So I'm gonna be out for a little while, guys. I'm not gonna be able to train very often. I'm not gonna be able to do the things that I love to do here in the gym because of my hands. So what do you guys wanna see from me in my day-to-day -day life? I can't do martial arts. I mean, I got teaching. I mean, you, you guys let me know. Throw some comments down below. Make sure you subscribe. We are at 96,000.5, right? 96,000 and a half. So we're right there at 100,000 subscribers. And let me tell you, once we get that 100,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving you guys one of my favorite kicks of all time. If you go back and watch my fight with uh, Vicente Luque, I threw it a lot during that fight, and it worked perfectly. The side kick. We're going to be giving that side kick from all different directions. It's going to be amazing. So make sure you guys subscribe. Throw some comments down below what you guys want to see me uh, during the vlog. So we want to we want to get back with our vlogs, not this Thursday, but next Thursday. But we want to give you something, guys. Throw something down below. Also, hit that little bell, guys. Give you, it'll give you some notifications. Subscribe! Catch you later.